Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. So, I am going to read one more book, and it's called My Little Book of Dinosaurs. What is a dinosaur? Dinosaurs were a group of reptiles that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. They came in all shapes and sizes. Some ate meat, while others ate plants. Some walked on two feet, while others walked on all fours. The Microraptor was a tiny feathered dinosaur. It was the smallest dinosaur that has ever been found. So this is the smallest dinosaur that has ever been found and it's called the Microraptor. The Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was a huge meat-eating dinosaur. It ate mostly fish, which it grabbed from the riverbanks. The Spinosaurus had a huge sail of skin on its back. So there's our Spinosaurus, and you can see right here the skin on its back. And he was a meat eater, but he ate mostly fish. The Tyrannosaurus was the largest, biggest meat eating dinosaur that ever lived. The Tyrannosaurus walked on two strong back legs. So as you can see, there's our Tyrannosaurus. And he was a meat-eating dinosaur. The Velociraptor was the size of a fox. It had long, sharp claws on each back foot. So there's our Velociraptor. And that, too, was also a meat-eater. Diplodocus was a long-necked plant-eating dinosaur. It was one of the longest dinosaurs ever. It could use its tail like a whip to scare away predators. So here's our Diplodocus. You can tell he's got a really long neck and he stands on all four legs and he's eating out of the trees. So he obviously was a plant-eating dinosaur. Brachiosaurus was one of the tallest, long-necked plant eaters. It's he it held its head in an upright position, a bit like a giraffe. The Brachiosaurus had long front legs and high shoulders, so it had a sloped back. And as you can see, it is eating plants. So it is a plant eater. The Argentinosaurus. The Argentinosaurus was the biggest and heaviest dinosaur ever discovered. Argentinosaurus spent most of its life eating. And this was a plant eating dinosaur as well. The Iguanodon was a large plant eating dinosaur. It usually walked on four legs, but it could stand or run on two. So here is a plant-eating dinosaur who would run or walk on four legs, but if it needed to, it could run on two. The Parasophilus was a plant-eating dinosaur with a hollow crest that swept back from its head. We don't really know what that crest was on its head. They don't know what it was for. But this was also a plant-eating dinosaur as well. The Stegosaurus. Many plant-eating dinosaurs were covered in armor or had plates or horns to protect themselves. The Stegosaurus had a double row of plates down its back. These guarded it from attacks. So there's our Stegosaurus. And as you can see, the row of plates. And don't forget on his tail, he had those spikes to protect himself. The Ankylosaurus was a large plant-eating dinosaur covered in bony armor. It had armor plates on its head, neck, and tail. 
They were made of bone covered of horn and protected ankylosaurus from predators. So like the stegosaurus, it had plates on its back, but it's a little bit different. His plates cover him a little bit more and his tail is like a club instead of spikes. So like the stegosaurus, also the ankylosaurus is a plant-eating dinosaur. Triceratops was a four-footed plant eater with a neck shield and horns on its face. And also you see his mouth is kind of like a beak, as we talked about. So there's our triceratops. And of course that was a plant-eating dinosaur. So guys, how do we know about dinosaurs? That's right, fossils. We know all about dinosaurs thanks to fossils. Pieces of dinosaur bone or teeth or eggs preserved in rock. And footprints also are considered fossils as well because they give us the shape of the dinosaur foot. Fossils formed when dinosaurs' remains were covered quickly by mud or sand. As the mud and sand was packed down, over time it turned to rock. And inside the rock, the dinosaur bones, teeth, or eggs turned to stone. So guys, did you enjoy that book? We learned about some different dinosaurs and parents. Hopefully this helped you out too with some different dinosaur names. And maybe you'll be able to draw some dinosaurs or identify dinosaurs with your kids too. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.